I have to say that I was incredibly, incredibly skeptical about quince. I wasn't sure what to think about them. And so I brought in a few pieces to find out if they really, truly are affordable luxury for plus size women. So let's talk about it. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia and I am a personal stylist. My passion in life is to help plus size women look and feel their absolute best. I believe that everyone deserves to look and feel beautiful regardless of size or age. Part of my job as a personal stylist is to stay on top of brands and find out what's new and where plus size women can find beautiful, well-crafted quality clothing. And today we are taking a close look at Quince. Quince is actually a brand that I've had my eye on for a while. And when I first checked them out, probably about maybe six months ago, I was very, very disappointed to find that they did not carry anything beyond an extra large. I kept checking the site to see what they were about, to see if maybe they were offering extended sizes. Lo and behold, I was pleased to find out that they do. I don't know how long ago this happened. Probably, I would say, within the last six, eight weeks or so, because I do visit their site fairly frequently. Now the extended sizes do go up to a 3XL, but they do not extend to the entire product lineup. But I was also very surprised to see that Quince actually sells more than just clothing. They have all kinds of stuff, but today the primary focus is on their extended size fashion lineup. Their whole premise is that they're offering affordable luxury for everyone. So they make their luxury pieces very, very affordable. They are very sustainably minded, by the way, not sponsored. This is me just trying out the brand for you guys. And so they carry 100% organic cotton. They have Mongolian cashmere. They have washable silk. They've got um, 10 cells. The reason that they say that they can offer their products for such a low price is that they cut out the middleman. So it's a direct to consumer kind of product and the packaging is minimal, which I will say that it is except for the one handbag that I ordered. I've got six pieces to show you today. Just keep in mind that the extended lineup right now is very limited because I think they're still in the process of rolling it out. And my hope is, is that they will continue to grow that extended sizing lineup to include a majority or everything that they have in their site. At least that's my hope. All right, let's go ahead and dive in first to the handbag that I purchased from Quince. This is a structured bag. It, they do have a bigger one available that is more like a briefcase. This is the smaller version of that bag. And I got it in like the tan color. It runs a little orange, if I have to be honest with you. It is in the tan family though, I would say. And I picked up a bag because I wanted to take a look at one of the product offerings outside of their clothing because I couldn't believe my eyes on the price that they were offering this bag. A handbag like this, made of 100% leather with a type of craftsmanship that I'm looking at here. I mean, Teddy Blake is the only other bag that comes close to this as far as like the look of it and the materials. This particular handbag came in at $129. They do have it in a few other colors like black. I think they have it like in a green color, like a dark green color. Um, and then I've got this tan color here. I really have a gap in my wardrobe for a tan handbag. So that's why I picked this one up. Now I I will say that the hardware is really super nice. There's no branding on the hardware though. So that's very interesting to me because even Teddy Blake, they have branding on their hardware. You can either carry it by the top handle. You have a shoulder strap to carry a crossbody. It has a snap opening and we've got three little compartments here. We've got two compartments with the zipper compartment in the middle, and you've got this one little uh, closure here that's a magnetic closure that keeps everything pretty secure. I really do like this hardware. I love the fact that it has feet. I always love a handbag with feet because it keeps the bottom from getting dirty. I think that this is a really beautiful bag. They not only have this style of handbag, they've got all kinds of styles of handbags and they are all very reasonably priced. Now, one of the things that I noticed on the Quince website is that they will give you a breakdown on the website of their product and two comparable products. So I think 
think that for the handbag it was theirs and then Kate Spade and Tory Burch. So they're pitting themselves against more mid-luxury brand handbags. In this first handling of the bag, I have to say that I am very pleased with it. I do like it a lot. I love how structured and beautiful it is. I would love to try another one of their handbags at some point and compare it, like maybe do one of the quilted bags that they have that's uh, kind of reminiscent of a Gucci bag or a YSL bag. I wouldn't say that it's like Polen quality though. Polen is like, has a pretty high bar. I would say that it is comparable to Teddy Blake in construction and it's less expensive than Teddy Blake. The only difference between this bag and the Teddy Blake bags is that this bag does not have a suede lining. It actually has a finished lining on the inside whereas the Teddy Blake bags are suede on the inside. So there's that. But um, it is really nice and roomy and it has a lot of different compartments and so this is a really beautiful bag. I'm really super happy that I picked it up. The next piece that I have is a very very beautiful piece. I have wanted a silk shirt for the longest time. I was really excited to see that Quince was carrying silk in their extended sizing. And so I picked up this very beautiful, stunning, stunning navy blue silk shirt from them. I picked it up in a 2X. I have to say that I was so pleased when I put it on. It is so beautiful. The silk feels so good. This is supposed to be washable silk. I can't speak to the washability of it yet because I just got it so I haven't washed it to see what it looks like after washing. I think that I would probably give this a steam instead of a wash as much as possible. I have finally found a silk shirt that I absolutely love. Now I have tried Lily Silk. I did place a Lily Silk order but the sleeve did not fit me. So I was a little bit nervous when I got this and I looked at the sleeve and I'm like I think it's going to fit <laughs> and it did. I am so excited to finally have my hands on a silk shirt. This is a silk button down shirt. It has a collar. And what I like about the shirt is that it doesn't go very long. I thought that it was gonna be really super long, but it's not. It's a bit longer in the back than it is in the front. I'm just beside myself with how beautiful and luxurious this silk shirt is and the fact that it fit. If you want a more a roomier fit, then I would say go up a size. They do go up to a size 3X, by the way. So they are carrying maybe a 20, 22. It has got just the most beautiful construction and the stitching is all nice and even. It has got really beautiful, very subtle buttons on the on the shirt. I like the fact that it doesn't button all the way up to the collar. It actually has a V neckline and starts buttoning about here. If you're looking for a beautiful silk shirt as a gift or for yourself, I would say give this one a try because it is stunning. They are out of stock and low on stock on some things because I'm pretty sure they've gotten hit pretty hard for the holidays because their pricing is so good. So I'm gonna have each of the outfits that has all of the other pieces that I brought in from my closet linked at the top of the description bar for you. I will also have the six individual pieces that I ordered from Quince if you would rather shop that way. Make sure to like these, to heart these in Like to Know It because you will get alerts about these pieces, sale alerts and things like that. So heart them in the Like to Know It app so that that way you will be notified if these things go on sale. And I will also be letting you know when we've got restocks in Like to Know It as well as on Instagram. So make sure that you're following me there. So the next pieces to talk about are this cashmere sweater that I've got on and this fantastic 100% silk slip skirt. I'm gonna talk about the skirt first. The skirt, as I mentioned, 100% silk. I got it in this beautiful champagne color. They do have it in a few other colors. Um, I think they have it in black, they've got it in navy, and they have it in this color here. I am just beside myself by how luxurious this skirt feels. It is so beautiful. It has beautiful drape on it, of course, because it is 100% silk and it is their washable silk. Again, just like with the navy blue silk shirt, the construction is really, really beautiful. The silk is really, really nice. I love the way that it flutters and drapes. It has beautiful sheen. I think that this is a skirt that you should definitely take a look at. It does have the darting on the backside. It's got a really 
really nice wide elastic waist. The elasticated waistband is in the same color. The fabric is a little bit thinner because of course it is silk. Just know that you might be able to see through it. I like the way that it fit. It was very comfortable around the waistline. It was very comfortable on the hips. It is in a size 2X, so it is very accommodating, um, and I love the length of it. I just think that this is a stunning piece to have in your wardrobe, regardless of which color that you select, especially if you like the navy blue satin skirt from J. Crew. I would say go and look at their navy blue silk skirt at Quince. I wish I had known that they were carrying extended sizing before I purchased that one from J. Crew because having one in silk is infinitely better than satin. Still, my J. Crew skirt is very beautiful and loved, but I this is just a notch above, like a big one. It is affordable silk. The other piece, as I mentioned, is this cashmere sweater that I am wearing right now. This is Mongolian cashmere, 100%. I got the V-neck style. I got it in this like oatmeal color. This is the most comfortable cashmere that I have tried all season. This is a beautiful, really nice thin cashmere that I know that I'm going to have for many, many years to come because I can tell that it is very high quality. The other cashmere that I've got always makes me itch a little bit. This cashmere, zero itch factor. I feel so luxurious in this sweater. It is fantastic and it is affordable. It is even more affordable than the cashmere that I tried on from H&M. And I am just amazed by how beautiful this is and how luxurious I feel. This is going to keep me very warm. It's gonna be really lovely whether all I'm doing is lounging at home or I'm going out and I wanna dress it up a little bit. I'm gonna be able to wear this for so many years to come and I'm just, I'm excited about this cashmere sweater. I'm excited about this beautiful silk skirt and the other things that I've gotten so far. It is at such a great price point and for the cashmere, they are comparing themselves to Nadam and J. Crew, and I would have to say that Nadam is the only one that comes close to this. J. Crew, no. I know that J. Crew is known for their cashmere, and it's nice. I've got some of it, but it does make me itch a little bit. This cashmere doesn't make me itch at all, and it is so soft, and it is just so luxurious. I feel like such a queen in this sweater that I am going to probably pick one up in every color because I just can't believe the price point. I can't believe the quality. It is really, really good. So the next piece that I have is this beautiful dress that I picked up. I don't know what possessed me to pick up the green one, maybe because I was feeling seasonal. It is a beautiful 10 cell wrap dress with an asymmetrical hemline. And this is a true blue wrap dress. And if you're not familiar with 10 cell, it is like a, it's like a polyester alternative, uh, but it is very soft. It is very silky. It is thinner and it has a beautiful drape to it. And I have to say that they did a good job on their 10 cell. Their 10 cell feels really, really nice. I think that it will also hold up over time because sometimes 10 cell may thin out a little bit. I know Modal does and 10 cell can sometimes do that if you don't take care of it. But I will say that the construction of the dress is stunning. It's got this beautiful little shawl collar here, a deep V neckline, you know, it's a wrap dress, so it's gonna wrap under the bosom. I love the way the skirt flows. For me being short, it is very long, so the back part of the skirt almost hits the floor, but the front part does come up to a nice little peak. This is a great dress for those of you ladies who uh, you know, are looking for a good dress for work. This is also very, seasonless. It's very, very easy to wear this dress year round because Tencel is just one of those types of fabrics that can go all year round. If you're looking for a really great dress for career, this is a really great option for you. If you're looking just for a really pretty wrap dress that you can wear to church or to other, you know, events that are a little bit more low key, then I would definitely grab this. Um, you could probably dress this up if you were to put the right jewelry with it, with the right shoes and the right handbag, you could easily take this into a more uh, party-like 
vibe now that we're in the holidays or for some kind of a event where it's a little bit fancier but this to me feels more like a day dress this is more like a dress that you could wear to the office and things like that but still a really super comfortable dress you could also take this running errands and whatnot um you know pair of some sneakers with it and i think that would look really great and i have got this piece here it's a 100 percent organic cotton fisherman sweater and I will say that it is very chunky. It is very bulky. If you're looking for a shirt that is going to keep you warm in really, really cold weather, then this is the one for you. You can layer underneath it, especially if you're layering thermals and you're gonna be set because it is so nice and chunky. The weave is very thick, very tight. I was sweating. I was really <laughs> hot trying this sweater on. Now it does have that open sleeve on it. It's got a little bit of a cuff on it, but it's meant to be one of those open type sleeves and it does go down uh, fairly long. So if you wanna wear something like this with leggings and some boots, this would be a really great sweater because you're definitely gonna get that bum coverage. I did have a little bit of a tough time tucking it because it is so chunky. It will create bulk around your middle. So in this case, I would say this is just one of those types of sweaters that you just wanna wear on its own as it is without tucking or anything like that. It will serve you very well in that respect. Right, so my final thoughts on quince, as if you couldn't tell, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this brand a lot. I think that this is a brand that even with the limited offerings that they have for extended sizing for plus size women, I think that this is definitely a brand to consider and to watch because their price points are really, really reasonable and the quality is way, way higher than what you're paying. You've got other providers out there that they're just not going to beat quince as far as price point goes especially given that quince is providing you the same level of quality that you would get from these places for me quince is absolutely attainable luxury you are going to get a really high-end luxurious piece for a really great price i ordered six pieces including a leather handbag and I paid less than $525 for all of it. Can you believe that? I am floored by the fact that I got such high quality, highly luxurious, beautifully crafted products for under $525, including a leather good. I'm just beyond, I'm beside myself. As a personal stylist working with clients, building out a wardrobe with some solid, winter basics, quince would be at the top of my list to recommend, especially if my client were on a budget. Even if you're not on a budget and you want to get yourself some beautiful quality silk and cashmere and cotton goods and leather goods, then I would definitely look into quince. I will continue to bring this brand to you as they continue to roll out more products because you can damn well bet that I'm going to be picking up more pieces from them. Right now they are sold out on a lot of things so I would move very quickly to try and pick up some of their pieces. I'm gonna leave you with my Talbots haul here in case you're interested in seeing what I picked up there for the winter. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate it and I hope to see you in that video. Bye. Bye.